Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETS, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, July 5th, 2021. If you like support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and new, and we'll start by looking at the ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, on Friday, minus 0.78%, uh, and we have basically been falling the last three days. The question is whether or not we manage to fall towards the middle of the bullish band. If we do, then we could see this drop uh, roughly 5.6% to the downside, just above the 240 exponential moving average. Um, there's no real sign that this is going to break down significantly at this stage. Um, tech sector and the most of the companies that are basically in this year, these are tech uh, companies. Um, they have been rallying significantly, is up 34% uh, to the upside um, the last, basically, uh, last two months. And that's a massive rally, to be fairly honest. It also broke down roughly, lost nearly half of its value. So it is halfway there in order to recover uh, the losses of this year. But 20 exponential has been holding, so pull back towards the 20 exponential. That could be possible buying opportunities. But these technical indicators are all turning around, except for the RSI at this current stage and the MACD, which um, still are turning around and will most likely uh, become bearish if this continues. If we bounce from the 150, then we're probably going to test 132 again. So let's look at DVI. So DVI ran into resistance at the 20 exponential. You can see it here also in the bullish band. We got very close here and then got rejected. Question is whether or not we retest the 100 moving average again or break below the 100 moving average again. Um, at this current stage, we have tested the, the 20 exponential several times in the last, uh, last two weeks and have not managed to break above that. We could also see this go really choppy uh, for for the next few trading days and then rally to the upside or break down. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the back D is still bearish, the RSI is flat, the CCI is uh, becoming bullish, and the stochastic is bullish. But um, this doesn't look really well, good here in the bullish band. We need to break above the middle here in order to go significantly higher. And uh, at this current stage, it's more likely that we'll just go really choppy before making a move. The other sides. So let's look at VDI. So this continues to rally up 0.55% to the upside. And at this moment, it is getting really overstretched. We're way outside here of the bullish band. A drop uh, towards the middle. That's a drop of 1.78% to, to the downside. And that could be expected at this point, as th this tends to pull back quite aggressively when it gets overstretched. We're not over uh, bought yet, but we are getting very close. MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish. Everything is pointing to higher levels, but pull back towards support uh, will probably be a buying opportunity. So let's look at MCHI. So this just uh, fell like a rock. So yes, we can, uh, kind of the trend continues here. Rallies at the end of the month and break down at the beginning of the month. And that's what we have been seeing. Question is whether or not how far we fall. Do we fall all the way down to the 300 moving average down here at 77 or to the previous lows here? So there are several uh, price, uh, several levels here. For example, 79 has been uh, an area of uh, support in the past. So the question is whether or not we fall towards that and then continue rallying. We are technically just trading sideways and have been doing ever since uh, mid March. So at this current stage, is almost just a waiting game. Technical indicators, they're all favoring the downside at this current stage. So let's look at IVB. So IVB is getting uh, very overstretched here. So we are way outside of the bullish band. So pull back at this point. At this point, if we fall towards the middle of the bullish band, that's 2.16% to the downside. To the bottom, it's all the way 4.19%. And uh, that would be a massive drop. That would be all underneath the 50 moving average. So it's probably more likely that will drop towards the 20. But if that gives away, then the 40 and the 50 are right underneath. If you look at the RSI, it's um, getting too, getting close to overbought conditions. Otherwise, all other technical indicators are very bullish. But this 
cannot continue. If you look at the past here, you see right here, outside breaks down, outside breakdown, and so on and so on. So uh, at this corner stage, pullbacks will most likely be a buying opportunity as uh, this has been on a massive uptrend since basically March last year. So hope you find this helpful. You all know, support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much.